What if the culture you've known your entire life begins to transform before your eyes, influenced by foreign ideas and values? How would you react? This question is not just a hypothetical. It's a reality that societies globally have faced and continue to face as the phenomenon we refer to as westernization unfolds. This term westernization denotes the adoption or imposition of Western culture and values on non-Western societies, often leading to significant social, political and cultural changes. One such society that experienced this shift is post-World War II Japan, a transformation exquisitely explored in the novel The Setting Sun by Osamu Dazai. Set in the backdrop of a rapidly westernizing Japan, the book paints an intricate picture of how Western ideas and values seep into the lives of the characters, challenging their traditional norms and pushing them towards an unfamiliar world. In this sea of change, two characters, Kazuko and Naoji, find themselves grappling with these foreign ideas and values. Kazuko, a symbol of traditional Japan, finds herself in the whirlwind of westernization. She stands at the crossroads where the past meets the future and the East greets the West. A woman of grace and dignity, Kazuko is a testament to the values of old Japan. Yet as the world around her evolves, she is thrust into a maelstrom of Western ideas and ideals. In the heart of this storm, Kazuko grapples with the challenge of reconciling her deeply ingrained traditional values with the relentless tide of westernization. She is drawn to the allure of the West, its freedom, its boldness, its unabashed individualism, yet she finds herself anchored to her roots, bound by the threads of tradition and familial duty. Her interactions with Western culture are marked by curiosity, fascination, and at times, resistance. She oscillates between acceptance and rejection, embodying the dichotomy of a society on the cusp of transformation. Her struggle is not just her own, it reflects the dilemmas faced by many in a rapidly changing Japan. As she navigates this cultural labyrinth, Kazuko's identity evolves. Her understanding of her society deepens and she emerges as a symbol of a Japan that is striving to harmonize the old with the new, the traditional with the contemporary. Kazuko's journey is a mirror of a society in flux, struggling to find a balance between the old and the new. Naoji, unlike Kazuko, is a character drawn towards the allure of the West. His attraction to Western ideas and values is a central part of his narrative arc. He is a man fascinated by the ethos of individualism and freedom that the West seems to offer, a stark contrast to the traditional Japanese values of collective harmony and order. This fascination, however, comes with its own set of challenges. Naoji attempts to integrate these Western concepts into his life, often causing conflicts with those around him. He finds himself caught between two worlds, struggling to reconcile his attraction to Western ideas with the societal expectations of his homeland. His relationships, too, bear the brunt of this cultural tug of war. Naoji's Western leanings put him at odds with traditionalists, while his inherently Japanese upbringing causes friction within his circle of Western-influenced friends. The result is a man isolated, caught in the crossfire of societal change. This societal change also has a profound impact on Naoji's identity. As he grapples with the Western values he admires and the Japanese customs he's bound by, Naoji finds himself in a state of constant self-questioning. His place in society becomes increasingly ambiguous as he struggles to find a balance between these two conflicting cultures. Naoji's struggle is reflective of a society trying to navigate the waters of change, sometimes at the cost of its own identity. Naoji's story, therefore, is not just a personal journey, but a reflection of the broader societal transformations occurring in Japan during this period. These characters and their stories are not just fiction, but a reflection of a society grappling with change. Osamu Dazai's The Setting Sun stands as a vivid portrait of a Japan wrestling with the repercussions of westernization. The characters Kazuko and Naoji, their actions, their struggles, are emblematic of a society caught in the tumultuous tide of change. They are the human face of a nation trying to reconcile its traditional values with the allure of the West. The novel serves as a cultural mirror, reflecting the impact of Western ideas and values on Japanese society, from the subtle shifts in social norms to the more overt changes in lifestyle and thought processes. The character's journey is a testament to the transformative power of cultural exchange, 
a reminder of the profound effect it can have on individuals and societies alike. Next time you're caught in a cultural crossroad, remember Kazuko and Naoji and ask yourself, how much are you willing to change?